My name is Derek Hullinger. I have a PhD in physics, and I'm going to show you the equation for a hyperbola. Before we go into it, though, I want to kind of show you what a hyperbola is. It's a really cool function, and it's one of a, a group called conic sections. And in this case, if you take a cone and you slice it straight down like this, and then you, you, you take off that piece there, then what you're left with, outlined in red there, is the hyperbola. So if you graph that, then you get something that looks something like this. Here's your x-axis, here's your y-axis, and a hyperbola looks something like that. And it turns out that these sides approach some imaginary lines called asymptotes. So I really ought to draw that a little better. That line gets closer and closer to that asymptote. This line gets closer and closer to that asymptote. And same thing over here. So there's what a hyperbola looks like. And the equation for a hyperbola is actually something like this. It's 1 equals x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared. And this a, it turns out, tells you where the hyperbola hits the x-axis. Hits it here at negative a or here at positive a. And the a and b also tells you where the asymptotes are. It turns out that this asymptote is the line y equals b over a x, and this one is y equals negative b over a x. Now, sometimes you might see it where the minus sign's in front of the x instead of in front of the y. If that happens, then it's just telling you that the hyperbola goes up and down instead. So you'd have a hyperbola that looks like this rather than the blue line. And then something else that you might see is sometimes it's not centered right here at the origin, at 0, 0. Sometimes the whole thing is shifted somewhere else. And when that happens, you replace this x with an x minus x naught. And you replace the y with y minus y naught. And the x naught and the y naught tell you where that center point is.